So I just, uh, so our next uh, fellow elected is Professor Kevin Hewison, and I just want Kevin to know that I don't personally take offence at the title of his chair, the Sir Walter Murdoch Professor of Politics <laughs> and International Studies, and he's also the director of the Asia Research Centre at Murdoch. Thank you very much. Um, over, I guess, the last uh, three or four decades, my abiding research interests have revolved around, first, the political economy of Southeast Asia's economic and political transformations, and second, uh, an interest in the areas of work, labour and social welfare. In that latter area of work and labour, my current work, my most recent research, has been with a colleague, uh, Arnie Kallerberg, a distinguished sociologist at the University of North Carolina, where I was until last year. And we've spent the past uh, few years researching precarious work in Asia in particular, but uh, globally as well. By precarious, we mean to identify the ways in which work is changing locally and globally, becoming less regular, less secure, more uncertain, and where employees are required to bear more and more of the risks associated with, with work that were previously um, allocated to employers or even to the state. The old idea of, that there was a standard work um, has pretty much be, become meaningless in the new world of work. And that project has been successful over the last four or five years. We've, we've organised several conferences, a number of workshops, uh, special issues of journals and various uh, papers and uh, an edited book which is forthcoming. And we're currently uh, trying to take the project a little bit further, um, talking with Stanford University Press where they want us to produce a policy-oriented work uh, where we will examine the relationships between state policies on, uh, and welfare and work and the nature and extent of precarious work globally. Um, most of my work on Southeast Asia has been on Thailand. Um, much of this attention has focused on the underlying social conflicts that shape political institutions and the travails of an often thwarted uh, democratisation in that country. Over many years, my attention has been to institutions such as the judiciary, the monarchy, which now prevents me from going to Thailand, uh, NGOs and uh, business interests. Political turmoil in recent days has seen me focusing on political competition between old and rising elites, the politicisation of so-called independent institutions, the political interventions of business tycoons attempting to control and uh, shape institutions, a coup, censorship and the use of judicial agencies for political purpose. And that's just at Murdoch University. <laughs> Of course, um, in the uh, Thai situation, interven interventions like these have proven highly toxic and very destructive indeed. I actually returned to Murdoch last year after 19 years away to become director of the Asia Research Centre. And that's the jewel in the social sciences and humanities there. My colleagues there are terrific. They are productive scholars and great, and great colleagues. Um, I'm, I'm very appreciative of the support th that they've given me and the, the great work that they do. I'm also appreciative of the Academy for this recognition and honour, and I congratulate the other new fellows. And I can't leave without saying thanks to Goff as well, because I wouldn't have gone to university if it hadn't been for him. Thank you. Thank you.